Hey guys, it's Jen. So this is going to be my very first um, better quality. Back in 2011, I did used to do book review videos, but I didn't have very quite very many books to actually talk about. So I'm gonna redo those and make them a whole lot better than three years ago. Yeah. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna be book reviewing Twilight, and I know a lot of you guys are like Twilight, really. The reason why I chose Twilight is because, well. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I'd do random series videos that people do or do not like, and I know lots of people hate these books. I like them, so whatever. Um, I'm also doing this just in case there's people out there that have not seen the movies, have not read the books, are probably wondering what the hell it's all about. So, yeah, this is, um, actually, I do remember when I first got this book. This was back in, this was back when I was 23 and a half. And there's right there. Hey, little baby. <laughs> Anyways, I thought <laughs> I do a really quick video, sorry babe. <laughs> um, but anyways, Twilight, so, yeah, as you can see, if you guys have not read the books, what's up with the covers as well. This is Edward's, um, pale like vampire hands, holding an apple. If you guys have seen the movie, you pretty much know what part that is. So, this is about a girl named Bella, um, she's from... Abula. She's from Phoenix, Arizona, and she moves to stay with her father in Forks, Washington. And, uh, she pretty much is, I don't know what type of character, type of girl you'd say she is. I guess she's just, like, a random girl, I guess. She doesn't really have any... I feel like, for her character, she doesn't have very good qualities. She's very, um, she's not the smartest, she's not, like, the brightest or anything like that. She's kind of, like, clumsy and whatnot. She kind of reminds me of myself, I guess. I don't know, like the quiet type. <laughs> so, sure. But, um, you know, she moves there. She meets Jacob. And that's cool. And then she, once she goes to her school, she automatically makes new friends in hell of a lot of minutes. In the movie and book-wise. And, um, it's just crazy. Like, I, I mean, sure, the book has a lot more than in the movie. But, it's just so random. Because she automatically makes, like five or six new friends on like, the first day of school. Like, on my first day of high school, I didn't even make, like, two. So, that's really random. But, um, one of her friends, um, I don't know if it was Angela or Jessica. I think it was actually both of them. And they see the Cullens, um, that you don't even know the vampires, but you can automatically tell that they are. It's kind of crazy. Um, they come in to the cafeteria, and they're telling, like, all these stories about them, like, how, because of the fact that, um, they're adopted siblings, but yet they are in relationships and stuff like that, they find it's weird. I don't know. But anyways, um, so, when Bella first sees Edward, it's, like, this automatic, like, love thing that she has for him, which is so weird. And, um, you know, she, he wants to stay away from her, so like that, because Wed, I think she goes to biology class, something like that. I don't know what class it is. But, um. Like, I guess he gets, like, a whiff of her from afar, and he wants to be away from her because he wants her blood so badly. So, she pretty much is all like, what the hell is this problem, you know what I mean? So, they end up having, like, these arguments and stuff. Like, one minute he likes her, the other minute he has to stay away from her and hates her. It's really weird. And, um, you know, sh Jacob, like, throughout the book and the movie, actually in the book, there's a lot more stuff to it with Edward of why he pretty much needs to stay away from Bella, not just because of that he wants her blood, but, um, there's, like, random reasons as well, I guess, but Jacob, like, tells her the story of the vampires and stuff like that, blah, 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 and, um, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing in the movie and the book. That's mostly why I'm referring more to the movie than, than the book. You know, the book has, like, a few things that the movie doesn't, but there's just random little things and not, like, anything so big. But, um, you know, Belle basically finds out that uh, Edward's a vampire and all this stuff because all these things that he has, like, cold hands and stuff like that and all these other things that he, 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 he like, reminds and stuff. It's really random, so... You know, it's like a big adventure movie, movie and book-wise. Um, the characters are great. I love the Collins. I love Alice. She's my favorite. She's awesome. Bella, she's... She really sucks. I'm just going to say, for her character, she really sucks. I like her more in the fourth book, in the fourth movie, but she's total vampire and break it up part two. I'm just saying. She is totally better vampire mode instead of human form. Because in human form, 
she just can't do anything. Like, she feels helpless. And I'm like, I don't like her character at all. I mostly like Alice and Renezme and Edward. You know, you know, Ed, Edward is kind of, I don't know, he's... The sparkly thing, I'm sorry, Stephanie Meyer, but, you know, you could have shown us something better than just a sparkly vampire. I mean, I know you really wanted to make them more modern to this day, but, girl, you know, you should have done more than just sparkly vampires. We do not need sparkly vampires. If they can drink blood from humans, they can at least do something else. I mean, I know they, in, in, but they drink the blood of animals, but, whatever. That's, that we, but, um, so, yeah, you know, this is mostly about the first book. I loved it. I remember I first, um, when I first watched the, the trailer was right when I was reading halfway throughout the book and I'm like, did they just say the movie of Twilight? And I was reading, I think, I don't even know what page I was reading. I think I was literally halfway throughout the book and I'm reading it and they say the trailer and they show the characters and exactly in my mind was what I was thinking they looked like from actors mode. I'm like, this is what I'm reading with hell. <laughs> really rude. So anyways, um, yeah, it's about for Twilight, the first book. Um, gonna do New Moon next sometime. But yeah, you know, it's really, I really loved the first book, and the first movie was pretty cool. Um, even though the movies do intend to go really fast. Did you guys even notice that even in the movies they go really fast? The book-wise, you know, this does take me a little bit, because I'm, I'm not like a slow reader, where it's like I read word to word and it takes me like a minute. It takes me like a minute to read like, almost like a full page. Well, it did take me like a little bit to read because I read not just one but like I read two or three other books at the same time. I don't know, but anyways, um, so yeah, it was a good book. You know, they fall in love and stuff like that. If you guys seen the movie, you know, they fall in love and um, ever 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 to Bella like he wants to drink a blood, but she's all like, oh no, you won't, and yet he's just yeah. <laughs> it's a cool adventure, and I love it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I would recommend it. I really would. Um, Twilight, you know, if it's the very first time reading it, I would. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, it's from 2000. I don't even know what year this is from. The movie first came out in 2008, but this might be from 2005, 2006. I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. That's Twilight, and I'll talk to you guys later. Let's be. Peace. Peace out. And I have a new quote for these certain types of videos. Keep on reading.